pond dipping. Hello, I'm Alan Gray and welcome to Get Gardening. You know, I'm sitting here on the pond with the sun warm on my back and I'm thinking about blanket weed. It's one of the most asked about questions we get here. How can I get rid of blanket weed? Well, the best way of getting rid of it is not to have it at all. And the way to do that is to cover two thirds of your surface of the pond to stop the light getting through. Now, if we look at this pond here, pond in my exotic garden, I'm afraid it's a little bit more than two thirds covered, it's about seven eighths covered, which is all to a good thing. But I have to thin out these water lilies, um, leaves occasionally, so that we can see the fish. And there are myriads of fish in here. But you can see the water is actually clear. If I put my hand in there, you can see my hand underneath the water. This has got several varieties of water lilies in it, and it, it really does need to be thinned out. The water lilies need to be taken out. It's a horrid, rotten, smelly job and you stink like hell when you're doing it, but it's well worth doing. And next spring, I'm gonna to have to get my waders on and get in here and do it. But at the moment, you can see, look at the wonderful yellow water lilies, this wonderful one here. And there's a huge one over there, a different variety. And the one I'd like you to look at really is the red one. That's a variety called Escabucal. And it was bred by a French specialist in water lilies. And you know, he died before anyone could find the formula for that variety. So it's never been equaled. One of the most popular oxygenating plants here we have is water soldiers. And this rosette of sharp toothed leaves sinks to the bottom in the winter where it rests. And as soon as the weather warms up and the water warms up, it floats gradually to the top. And you can see it here with its little white flower on. It's a lovely thing. Also, we've got in a sunken pot in this pond, we've got a variety of cyperus. This is the old um, indoor plant. It was known as the umbrella plant. It really technically shouldn't live outside but here it's safe underwater, and last winter was very mild. Now surrounding that are some arrow-shaped leaves, and that's the pickerel weed that comes from Canada, and it has the most startlingly azure blue flowers from July onwards. You see, ponds can be floriferous, as well as crowded and clear. 